Hi, welcome back. So we're here to talk about the Wahoo Care Climb long-term review. This unit I've had for three years since its inception. Retails for $5.99. So let's get right into the positives. It really does make climbing fun and engaging. That's the undulations, the steep climbs using Zwift. I yeah, really recommend uh, turning up the dial in your settings in Zwift to get the full effect. Another positive, we cyclists uh, know by the changes in grade, you do engage different muscles in your legs. So in workouts, it's great to have that ability to change the grade when you like. So if you're on, let's say you're doing intervals and you just want to raise up to 6%, it is awesome that you can do that. So overall, it's quite smooth and really not a distraction. Yes, you can hear the whirl, uh, the motor whirl, but it's not annoying. You, in fact, for much of Zwifting, it works quite smooth. By the way, you can quit climbing anytime by pressing the down on the climb button and it brings it back down to zero grade. So negatives, this device is stable at high grades. That's like your 15 plus 18% grades. There's no feet on this thing. You look at the bottom of the kicker climb, it has a small footprint. So even a little turn on your, your steering makes the climb kind of wonky. So it'll kind of like pitch to one direction. It's, it's quite weird. So you really don't want to be turning, but sometimes it happens. Also the power brick is quite large and short. Fortunately for my setup, I would say it's and most people's setups, I would say it's somewhat cumbersome that it like sits by your feet. It'd be great if they left a longer cord to completely hide the brick. The auto manual button. I don't get why this thing's not set to always on auto. Also, the climb doesn't go back to zero grade after a workout. It's a bit odd, but typically if you go into another Zwift world, they'll reset back down to zero. But let's say if you're done with your workout and you're on a climb, it'll stay there. It's kind of weird. So you have to manually press it back down to, to uh, zero. Also too, if you have a desk of some sort, check your clearances because as this climb can go up to 18% grade, I've hit the undershot of my desk and sending my iPad and water bottle flying down. So what's the final verdict? I love the kicker climb. Full disclosure, I did have my climb unit replaced by Wahoo due to a failure of the power brick. I think it's still pretty strange that they didn't just send a replacement brick, they actually sent me a full replacement unit. I feel like the climb could use a partial redesign for stability and maybe adding um, steering capability. You guys remember that Zwift steering feature? By the way, the kicker climb does work with other services like Trainer Road, Roe-V, Full Gas. So um, again, love it, highly recommend. I well, hope that helps someone out there looking for any information on longevity. It's still kicking and I still love it. Well, subscribe and um, looking forward to making more videos. Thank you.